there, nigga. Yeah. yeah. Move that way. Move along, move along. That got a ball. to do youtube it's your boy e boogie aka man in the house and i'm back with another video i'm back with another unboxing and you know we got today yes sir the yeezy 350 boost cloud white all right first we got the box if you don't know this is how all 350 boxes look brown box big 350 on the top boost on the side label right there we got Cloud white, cloud white. Yeah, you know I mean, just a normal Yeezy box in case you didn't know. But that's exactly how the box look all the way around. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There you got oh, it. Shit. Cloud white Yeezy 350 boost. All right, we're going to start at the bottom. Translucent, cloudy white, milky white sole where you can kind of see through it. You see the white styrofoam through the inserts, the cutouts of the sole. Got the boost in the sole in the back inside of the translucent sole. Got the total wrap around of the translucent sole where you can see the boost foam through the inside. You always see the wrap around cap where they re glue the sole back together on the back. That's on every one of them. A lot of them be different colors. This one translucent. A little darker than the rest of the sole, but it's like that on every one of these. Now, this color, it is kind of cloud white. Now, it ain't white white, but it's cloud white. It look like a cloud in the sky, so it got like a blue tint, a blue hue to it. You know, it's woven like most of the 350s. Got the mesh cut out going through the upper. On the back side, you can see part of the plush cushion that's on the inside. You can see it through the outside of the mesh. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I like all 350 boosts because, you know, I'm just like that. Yeah, you know I mean, but the inside is darker. Got the blue woven mesh all through it. It's darker than the outside. So it kind of look like a split shoe because it's way lighter on the outside than it is on the inside. We got nice cloud white, a.k.a. very, very soft blue laces. It's a soft blue tint to it. The inside, same color as the outside with the white Adidas logo with the Yeezy on the bottom. Right here on the back heel tab, we got the three stripes that's usually in 3M. I'm almost sure that those are 3M because it's 3M on all of them. Definitely a nice shoe. I'm biased to this shoe, so I don't know if you're going to take my word as gospel, but I like all 350s just because I know how comfortable they are and they actually look good to me. That's on right. The heel, we got the cross stitching on the back from them being sewn together. Very comfortable shoe. I'm already hip. We got the little cushion padding on the inside for the shoe strings around and going around your ankles. Got a little padding right there. Yeah, definitely a nice shoe. You can see the holes in the toe cap part that mold around the tip of your foot. But yeah, this right here is a very decent shoe. I like the color. I like everything about it. So overall, if I be honest about this shoe overall, compared to the other ones, I get this shoe a seven out of 10 because it's a nice shoe. It's nowhere near the best 350 that ever came out, but it's a decent shoe. I give it a seven. The materials, I give it, a five or a six it's just cotton so it's gonna be real durable it's gonna be easy to clean so yeah it don't it this particular shoe doesn't have to have great materials because even though they cost a little bit of money they um are made for everyday wear like you can wear these anywhere just throw them on like house shoes damn near every day that's what i do with my great ones and the quality of this shoe now the quality on the shoe is great because guess what we have no glue anywhere, no extra glue, no separations, no missed stitches, no messed up weave. So the quality on this shoe, I give it a nine out of 10. Only reason I ain't giving it a perfect 10 is because 
it just got to be something out of the ordinary to be a perfect 10 like those threes those threes rarely ever come you know with quality like that so i gave those a 10 for the simple fact that none of the jordans are ever really put together that good most of the time but this shoe is a real good decent shoe let's take another look all the way around very decent shoe I love this shoe. I always love 350s. And the thing about the 350 that I love is that they just so comfortable and they look good to me because I'm not even a Kanye West fan. But this particular shoe, I love it. And I love all the 350s. So take it with a grain of salt. Don't take it with a grain of salt. Take it how you feel. But this your boy, and I'm out with this video.